Frank Ariola. Here. Carlo Leonguero. Richard Sablon. Rose Reno. Here. Eloy Para. Here. Harris Bloss. Here. We have Corn. Good. Dr. Mary Okada. Here. Kenneth Bautista. Here. Simone Bollinger. Here. Attorney Rebecca Wrightson. Here. Okay, we're good. Okay, recital of the mission statement. Guam Community College is a leader in career and technical workforce development, providing the highest quality student centered education and job training for my education. Has everybody had a chance to review the minutes? If not, we'll get a motion to approve. So we'll move. Can we get a second? Second. Okay. I've read through, I don't have any uh, recommendations for changes, so just let me know if there's any changes that need to be made. Yeah, I'm good. I don't have any Okay, no objection, no uh, minutes are approved. Uh, communications, any request? Uh, no communications. Public discussion? No request for public discussion. Okay, thank you. Uh, reports, can you present your reports? Sure, starting off with the uh, uh, financial status of the college. The college has received to date $9.912,491 million, uh, broken down into $7,896,752 from the general fund. Uh, approximately 1.9 from MEF, 36,060 for post, and the first generation trust of approximately $100,000. Based on the allotment schedule and the cash received, the college has received 84% uh, of the uh, bills amount. And we continue to receive uh, monthly, I mean, weekly allotments from the Department of Administration. Um, moving on to other activities that have been um, happening here on campus. Uh, a couple of things. Um, the employees of campus have participated in FERPA training, and this is important because of the confidentiality of student records for all the departments that handle student information. Uh, we do have some um, updates to other uh, professional development activities. Um, so, with the foundation board, uh, VP Rod and I attended the uh, uh, fiduciary essentials training sponsored by UPAPS, which is um, needed one for my AIF certification, but um, for VP Rod as a steward of fiscal resources here on campus. And then various administrators uh, on campus have, a, have attended training. Uh, one particularly uh, deals with uh, financial aid, return to Title IV, and so these are for students who are preliminarily eligible for Title IV and then ultimately not, uh, their funding is not, um, you know, like their checks are not cashed, um, and so we have to return the money if they're not awarded or if there's a, a drop in their uh, enrollment. Also, distance education guidelines that was sponsored by ACCJC. We did a heavy ICER training. Um, folks in HR attended the Sherman sexual harassment training. Um, and then the um, HR also conducted the new employee orientation that was held on March 9th. Uh, we have a series of new employees coming in to the campus, and there's some rotations from departments uh, into from LTA status into permanent status, and so. We'll probably be doing a little bit more new employee orientation in the upcoming months because we have some active recruitment going on, um, including faculty recruitment for the next academic year. Um, so McRell, which has the grant for the regional education left, has reformatted or restructured their governing board. So um, as a representative for the college, Dean Pilar now, uh, because of her expertise in career and technical education, now sits on the rail board. And so she'll provide her um, expertise to that group, which is consistent of um, not just representatives from Guam, but throughout Micronesia, including all the federated states, Palau, American Samoa, Hawaii, Saipan, um, and the Marshall Islands. Um, 
So at the end of the month, which was March 31st, although it was released a couple days later, the college, of course, 21 years, uh, consecutive years of clean audits. Um, and this is really a, a collective, um, co you know, collective effort from everybody here on, on campus. Um, and this year, I really wanted to highlight the three individuals in the finance office that have been here for all 21 of those years. Um, Cheryl Slim Nicholas, Carol Guerrero, and Linda Torres. And so for as long as we've had clean audits, I mean, I remember the days when the college was inauditable in the 90s. And they brought in a team to reconstruct the financial statements of the college. And so these three ladies were here since we've received or obtained our very first a clean audit, and so we kind of wanted to highlight that uh, this year. Well, don't you funny you could share also on all your trips. She also reports that, and so that's very key whenever funding is uh, requested for. So I think a clean audit for 21 years is very impressive. Yeah, Good. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a couple other things coming up. We're continuing to work. Uh, Dr. Mike's continuing to work on articulation agreements with the university, as is our um, faculty representative, uh, Ms. Simone, uh, with the University of Guam, and so those continue uh, to move forward. What areas though? Which uh, um, so <clears throat> Dean Mike is working on the or working on the articulation for anatomy and physiology. Okay. I believe those are two areas uh, of science, and then we've got two math courses that uh, they're also working on, and so. Um, and we'll continue to do that with IOG. I know that we're still working on the supervision and management two plus two, and we'll just inch along and, and you know do what we can to ensure that students actually have a pathway to the um, University of Guam. But we also have other pathways for students to consider. There was a recruitment effort earlier this week uh, for Bellevue University, which is a two plus two, and then we also have the finalized Chaminade, uh, Chaminade University for the two plus two also in. Uh, other other programs as well. So we're going to continue to do that so that the students um, have access to continuing on their four-year uh, program. And uh, that's all I have for now. Other than we're preparing for our budget hearing, which will be scheduled for April nineteenth, and so the board chair. And, that's a Tuesday, right? Uh, it's a Tuesday. Yes, yeah, so the board chair and I will be uh, representing the college uh, at that at that uh, hearing. That's all I have, um, but I can move on to capital projects, capital improvement projects. So we're continuing to do the uh, air conditioning replacement here on campus. So uh, there is a new scope of work that is going out for additional units in building 3,000, um, primarily in building 3,000 to change out those. Uh, the building 200, uh, 2,000 emergency generator uh, has already been awarded and that is uh, progressing. The underground water leak detection, um, they did the initial assessment and so uh, we're continuing to uh, work on that because we want to make sure that there's no water leakage here on campus and so we're just doing that detection. How old is that pipe and how large is that pipe? Is it like 12 inch, 12 inch pipe? I don't know what the size is. Galvanized probably. Yeah, so, um, and then we're continuing to um, monitor the building 6000 this building uh, water pump uh, the student canopy will be added to the construction projects on the next uh, meeting because that is now um, headed out to bid and the barrel bolt uh, we will probably issue the barrel bolt that connects building 5000 to building uh, a um, out again because we um, it had exceeded the um, the uh, budget that we had anticipated uh, for that project. And then we're also looking at some other uh, canopies here on campus. Um, refurbishment of building 900 will probably have a bro broader scope and will be put out to bid again. Um, we're still working on the uh, 30,000 uh, gallon water tank and the com or next completion date uh, with the extension that was granted is May 6th. Um, the design for the culinary and bakery center for building 400 is uh, currently at the 30% drawing with TRMA. And so once that a &E is done, then we will also add that to the list of construction projects on uh, under unfinished business. 
as the uh, as well as the bathroom renovations from building to that. Dr. Fung, with the, uh, the new facility, and you know now that we're offering like the baking and stuff, but have we ever done any apprenticeships with the, the local uh, yeah. providers? With the or hotels and the, and the um, well, I'm talking more small business. I know the hotels, right? They have qualifying certificates, so they they don't really do. The uh, apprenticeships, right? So I'm at least for our locals, right? Just to put them along here. Is that something we can look at? I can check to see if we have any currently. Yeah, um, yeah. But we I've, can I've have our apprenticeship some, office. They're really interested in doing a boot camp and maybe even an apprenticeship down the line. Okay. Yeah. And so the baking right now, the baking and the culinary are finishing up their. Um, the one year free college initiative that was funded nice. by the Department nice. of Interior. So the baking piece was a track that was added, um, and they should be finishing up sometime in August, I believe. Can I, can I see the, uh, just the architectural layout? Oh, sure. The, yeah, we're only at 30% right yeah, now on yeah. the design, and yeah. so the architects will continue to work on that. Nice. And then I'll speak about the other construction, major construction projects when we get to uh, unfinished business. Thank you. Monthly activity report starts. So good afternoon, everyone. So my report for March April 2022, um, summer fall 2022 registration is currently ongoing. And then spring break is next week, starts next week, Monday. Um, and after we get back from spring break, um, Monday is college assembly, and then we just have one, it seems like it'll be our last week of um, classes, right? Um, the Fall Edge Student Conference was held on Friday, March 18, from 8.30 to 12.30. Total participants or attendees for that conference was 99 students. Well, 40 students were face-to-face -face and 59 were virtual online. So it was a really good conference. Um, good after speaking to some of the students, a lot of their interest was in finance. So that finance piece was a really good um, workshop for them. Yeah. So. Out of the students that showed up, were they comfortable? Were they yes, very much. Yeah. They, they were happy to actually um, have attended it because we, we didn't we didn't have a, a conference. This was our first back to back again after so long. So yeah, so it was a good number, and then we had um, a good number of participants also for for this conference. Um, 2022-23 uh, student election leader leader elections um, or it was held at this week. Online voting, um, so we'll have new elected officers to be announced in the coming weeks. Um, link up reverse job fair showcasing all graduates in the fall 2021 spring 2022 semester. Uh, that'll be held on April 20, uh, starting at 9, and it'll be held in the MPA. So, this will be a good opportunity for students that are graduating um, to meet with employers uh, for job searching. Um, spring 2022, uh, last day of classes, Friday uh, classes, uh, last day is April 22nd, Saturday classes are, uh, is on April 23rd, uh, Tuesday, Thursday classes, last day is on the 26th, and then Monday, Wednesday would be on May 2nd. Um, let me see. I failed to mention in the past uh, meetings that I attended the boot camp ceremonies um, in January and February. Okay. And the highlights of hearing the testimonies of some of the top students in this, these cohorts were very impressive. You know, um, just the workforce development um, coordinators were very instrumental in seeing their success through the, the programs. So I'd like to, you know, great job to our workforce development team, you know, for making. Uh, you should have seen them when the family members were attending pre COVID. I mean, you see people crying and very emotional with the, some of the stories. So, yeah, I agree. And is this is this your last meeting as a student trustee, or do you have another meeting after this? Actually, what is your this, permit? This will be my last uh, general membership meeting with uh, the board. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So you'll Thanks have your new trustee you so next much. month. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we talked about elections. So. How many people ran for the student trustee? <laughs> just one. There was oh. only one, and you know it was funny because they said, "Parish, you just said." A bar, you know, and like, you know, it's a great opportunity. I, I really, I mean, I was really um, uh, recruiting for this position because, you know, it's it's a great opportunity for students yeah. to really be a part of it, you know, and so there was just one. So, yeah. Yeah. I think the election and the recruitment was, uh, it was just a short period, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate your service here on the board. We really, we want to thank yeah. you.
Please pass along to the new uh, trustee uh, the reports, the format that you would use, because I tell you that's very good to get in advance. Yeah. Thank you. And then our next, um, our next uh, class of general membership meeting is today, actually, at 5 o'clock, uh, followed by a Zumba recreation event. So Guam Fitness Instructors and um, our adult high uh, program, Yolanda Tafasia, is going to lead us in our Zumba activity today. Oh. Uh, yes. And then uh, the Guam Thinkable Organization is also partnering with Guam Fitness. They're both instructors for the Guam Fitness Instructors. So Guam Thinkable. Um, is actually going to do a little demonstration today for our students. So, yeah, that's a really What are you guys doing? It's going to be in our center courtyard today. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yes. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 And we're the first, we're the first um, uh, college actually to, or, you know, organization to uh, to be able to have them on. Yeah. Yeah, push so, bonus, yeah. man. That's, that's what I'm yes, yes, yeah. So excited about that. That's happening today. Um, and that's all I have. Well, thank you very much. Okay, who do we have next? Simone? Yeah, so just to um, add to what I said about spring break coming up, and everybody's hoping they'll get some, you know, the weather will pass, we'll get some sunny days. Um, and then right after that really is the last push at the end of the semester, get all the students to submit everything that they need to, finish all projects, grade everything. Um, and then faculty looking forward to graduation. We have been hearing from students about their plans with the motorcade, you know. We've had trolleys in the past, we've had stretch limo or the, you know, yeah, the, um, yeah. and so I think that the excitement of that is starting to build. Yeah, to, you know, students are talking about it, sharing with their instructors. Just what day is graduation? 13. 13. Yes. And that's pretty much it. It's just, you know, end of the semester. You guys working on accreditation also, right? And we attended, I attended last week uh, the training, the ISA training. Uh, it was good getting us again, you know, focused. I mean, it's nice because it, in a sense, it never feels like it's totally gone. Yeah. It's not something completely new. I worked on, a, I was a chair for one of the standard committees last time. Oh. And so it really, you know, I feel. Uh, I mean, everything just lines up nicely, so to continue that work. Well, the board has confidence in, in this organization. It's good to hear that you had experience with the uh, last one. Thank you. Mr. Ken. Yeah, so, um, uh, staff are uh, pretty much um, uh, preparing for the end of the um, spring semester and upcoming graduation. We're also uh, working with, um, or setting up the uh, the summer and fall registration, which is already online, online, um, and we have uh, colleges on the coming up on the 18th, um, and um, as uh, Maria mentioned, we have the uh, online for the training for uh, yes. Very good. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty much all. Um, Thank you very much. Okay, next up, Board of Trustees uh, Community Outreach Report. Okay. Um, Rose. On March 24, I attended the, uh, um, as part of the nursing and allied health advisory um, board yeah. meeting. Yeah. It's great that we were able to reconvene that meeting and have an update from uh, uh, the and uh, able to meet the faculty. And I know there's still um, a challenges of uh, hiring uh, faculty and adjuncts for that department. Um, so I know that they've been working and getting seeking some advice in how are they be able to push the program and um, and then uh, so we kind of like recommend the meeting and if they have some follow ups that need to update with the advisory board and um, we look forward and really revamping and uh, looking and pushing and having that focus in that uh, program uh, for the next uh, semester. So with that. Okay. Um, aside from that, um, I just like to announce from the board that we have. Um, we do have a lot of exam beds, uh, clinic equipments that is interested for uh, the nation, even now uh, filing folders that we're trying to clear out our warehouse. Who's we? 
FHP. FHP. Yeah. Okay. So um, and you can connect with anyone. Okay. Um, patient charts folders that has a fastener because we're fully integrated now into our EMR system. So if you guys are interested, um, we have a lot. Okay, yeah. we'll reach out to the departments of yeah. our students. Yeah. We can send a picture. I would send a picture to Bertha. Okay. And what are those uh, sample of uh, that? Because we're really clearing out our uh, thing. And then I'll reach out with Dee if there's anything that our laboratory needed as uh, supplies, especially for and, and some of the instruments and equipment. Oh. But I do have a lot of it someday. Okay, I'll check and see what we need in our student health service center. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay, Anything else to report? No. I think she attended the Red Bomb, right? Don't. So look out on the news. That's not on the record. Yeah, no, 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 that's actually outreach, right? No, I attended in the Red Bomb. I thought you were going to say that. Yeah. I, I made it in the best dress, please. And she made no, it to the best dress. Um, yeah. As part of the board of a... Uh, of, uh, American Red Cross, I attended the Red Bull with the big uh, first time fundraising event. So uh, it's, it's nice to slow, starting to have those events. Coming. You know, I also understand that GNA is looking for. Um, yes. Do you mind just updating us? So um, this year, um, you know, May is a nurses' month, uh, and this year we're doing a uh, seven awards category. And one of the awards in um, School of Allied Health and uh, Community and Nursing. So I really, I reach out, we we'll reach out to uh, GCC if you can, any of your faculty or um, from the Allied Health program that you want to have to uh, nominate, nominate for that category. So well, this is the seven right? It's right. Yeah. Yeah. So one of your faculty before Barbara Mottas is actually one of the winners. Okay. 2014. Um, and then, yeah, we do have. So I really hope that uh, we're excited uh, for this year's uh, celebration. Yeah, those of you who don't know, she's the president of uh, Long Nurses Association. How many years in a row? Yeah. Six years. Now I'm the executive director. Executive director. At yeah, our new president is Elizabeth Sun. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, just ask them if they can send uh, Dr. Pot a formal. Uh, yeah. Request. Mm -hmm. Let's get to some of them. Okay. Oh, very good. Yeah, exactly. oh, very good. Okay. Uh, Trustee Harry, you have to the report. No, I'm doing this thing. Okay. So uh, I also attended uh, the online call with the ICER for accreditation. I, I tell you, it was very uh, informative. I learned a lot of during that thing. We. Uh, we went to um, attend the GLI, that's a Governance Leadership Institute's uh, chair, vice chair, and president CEO training, and uh, it was very good. Very small group, a lot of group work, and uh, uh, we just continued to hear uh, the three-letter acronym, diversity, equity, equity inclusion. and inclusion, yes. so. That's the new administration's uh, focus, and so there's a lot of opportunities for grants and other things there. Good thing is, uh, we shared it earlier, you know, a lot of people are kind of catching up to our region and to our community college, you know, when they talk about, you know, all those three items. And so we're very proud. We, we didn't have any issues like some of the other community colleges there. I mean, we're, we're looking at each other saying, wow, this, uh, must be difficult when the board and the, the president doesn't get along. So it's very good, yeah. And we also we uh, also took a trip to uh, Washington D.C., which is just a two-day, uh, and we met with USDARD. Uh, they've encouraged Mary to to turn in projects. Yeah, and so very very uh, productive. And we we talked about some of the projects we had coming through that we were planning and that were. Hopefully, going to approve the architectural engineering plans, and they're just submit them. So, it's a it's a good time for for us. And that's all I have to report. Unfinished business. Construction project updates. Uh, starting with the forensic lab. Uh, forensic lab is now at ninety-eight point oh eight percent complete. Almost there. Um, it looks good. It looks yeah. <laughs> We're almost there. 
almost there. Uh, they've already submitted the applications for land management, EPA, GPA, GWA, and so we're just uh, trying to get the schedule for their um, inspection. Did you guys do the punch list already? Finish that? Not yet. Not yet. Mm -hmm. um, for building 300. Oh, before you be, uh, before you finish, when are we planning a ceremony? Um, not sure yet. Is that something we're going to do with GPD or is this something? Like oh yeah, we'll yeah. do we'll, yeah, we'll we'll do with uh, GPD. I'm thinking probably towards the beginning of the semester because we still have to wait for all the equipment to arrive for the GPD side. I think all of our equipments, I mean, all of our classroom furniture and stuff is already here. Oh, good. So good. storage. So, okay, so yeah, so we'll, we'll let you know way in advance um, before we do the ribbon cutting on that. I'm building 300, it's also inching along at 97 now percent complete. And um, they, we did, uh, they did receive the metal canopy, so they're gonna start putting that together. And um, just uh, finishing off on the, um, the fire alarm system, the ground pole, because that's going to be needed for the fire alarm and fire sprinkler inspection in order to pass the uh, GFP inspection. So that's at 97%. So we have about 3% more on that project. Yep. Uh, the wellness center is still pending. Building B, notice of intent to award, uh, was already provided to a contractor. And uh, with your authorization this afternoon on additional funding, the gap funding needed to fully execute that contract, uh, we will be real close to issuing the notice of award for them. And then the Workforce Development Center, the latest is uh, I got some feedback from EDA and they requested for some updated documents. So once the, that information is given to them, uh, they estimate about 30 days before the official grant award. And so that should be coming out. Real soon. And uh, Busy. Okay. Uh, new business. So the first item here is the uh, five-year academic calendar. There is a calendar committee uh, that proposed the five-year academic calendar uh, that has been reviewed by faculty senate and uh, through the College Governing Council. And so this is being presented to you for academic year 2022-23 through academic year 2026-27. And so this requires a board action. Yeah. Um, I move. Well, before we do that, any major changes? Um, From, um, any updates, anything that... Uh, uh, I think there was a proposal somewhere early on to put a break in, in the fall semester, and uh, that was taken out. Okay. So. Okay. Sorry um, for the interruption. No worries. No. Thank you. Yeah. Motion to approve. Motion to approve the, the uh, calendar uh, five year as presented. Thank you. I second. Second. And second. Okay. If we don't have any objections, uh, motion approved. Forward with the request to provide additional funding for the building B renovation project. Okay, so the building B renovation project, uh, the college issued out a bid, and um, we had determined the um, most responsive, the lowest, most responsible base bid uh, for that bid award. Uh, our bid number 22002 for building new renovation came in at $6,318,497. Um, through the Office of the Governor, uh, we did receive uh, funding for the building new renovation of $3,668,135. And so even though um, the difference is less than three million, just to include some additional contingency, uh, so that we don't have to yep. uh, come back if we need additional funding. Um, we are requesting the board to authorize uh, three million dollars from the capital projects fund for the building B renovation project. And this is truly a renovation, right? The existing building. Not yeah. talking and now we're talking major. So renovation. it's a first floor right now. It will be. Um, renovated first floor and we will bring counselors back to the front of the campus so counseling and uh, academic um, 
testing. The placement testing will occur there. The faculty senate office will also be located in there and the student support services group plus the um, mass notification system and the, and the security guard. That's first floor. And now the second floor, uh, we will be moving the lab that is currently in building E, the student uh, open lab, onto the second floor of that facility. So it will now be a two-story facility up mm -hmm. front of the campus. How big, um, so it's the footprint of uh, building B, then the That's second correct. floor is okay. That's correct. Very good. Move to approve. Move to approve. Okay, I second. Okay, I guess we no objections. Uh, we approve the uh, resolution. resolution 22 2022. Thank you. Okay, busy day today. <laughs> Vice President Emeritus. Okay, so the college, um, or I received an application uh, for Vice President Emeritus from Dr. Ray Samara um, requesting to be granted Vice President Emeritus status for the Guam Community College um, in alignment with policy 465, um, where, whereby it indicates that the nomination is approved by the immediate supervisor. And so uh, prior to his retirement, I was a supervisor. And so I received this. It is a self-nomination. Uh, for this status and a copy of his uh, resume and his uh, accomplishment during his career at TCC is uh, attached for your, uh, is attached to the board uh, sure. packet. Um, in addition, the application for the emeritus status is also here and the guidelines. And so for administrators, the criteria for eligibility is retirement from the college and a minimum of 10 years of professional service at the college, which Dr. Samara has met. Okay. And, um, and that all supporting documentation that includes a resume and a statement outlining accomplishments um, during your career at the college be submitted as well and submitted to the supervisor, okay. uh, which I received. And so, this needs to be forwarded to the Board of Trustees for their final approval. Okay. Has, um, it, has it gone through the governance process already? So the current, the current uh, policy and the procedures outlined here does, has not, or does not indicate um, for any emeritus status applications to go through the governance process. Could we ask for it to uh, go through the process? We Is that can. something we can? We can okay. present it to the uh, Faculty Senate okay. and present it through the uh, College Governing Council and then bring it back to the board. Yeah. So, yes. Do mm -hmm. you guys have any objections to that? Yeah, that would be good. Mm -hmm. At least they're part of the process. Okay. Do we need to make so a motion? We, just, we can just table it yep. until the next meeting yep. and we'll send it through. Yep. Good. It seems like he has, uh, he's compliant, Dr. Samara is complied yeah. with all the, uh, the written requirements for this. He won't to go through this process. Okay. Okay. Do we need to? We need to just table it for the next Okay, we don't need a motion or anything. We motion do? Motion to table. Okay. Motion to table on the um, application and with the uh, recommendation to go to the governance committee. Okay. Second. Second. Sorry. Okay. And then based on that, um, the college will consider revising the uh, policy 465 to include a route through the governance process. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't currently have that, but if that's the board's wish, then we can put that. We're doing policy review updates now, so we can include that as yeah. part of the review. I think it's prudent to make it part of the process. Well, yeah, that's good, no, but I also like the fact that uh, it's really the discretion of the president if this is approved as yeah. far as what the duties are. We want to make sure we don't, uh, you know, yes, to acknowledge this, but also we want to make sure that the college functions properly. Okay. Okay. No objection. The uh, the uh, request for uh, President Emeritus. President Is uh, has been tabled for a uh, government process. Okay. All right. President's travel, I don't know. We have the 2022 ACCT GLI for Pacific Island post-secondary institutions in June. Yeah, so this is uh, really um, uh, information for the board 
um, and if board members are to be um, are to attend this, the board actually has um, provides opportunities for board members to attend. Uh, the ACC TGLI is specifically for Pacific Island uh, Pacific Post Secondary Education Council members. There are two. Uh, ACC TGLI uh, trainings happening. The front end of it is open to those colleges in the Western Pacific. Uh, no, I'm sorry, in the uh, community, California Community Colleges and including Washington and Oregon. And then the second GLI, which is June 19 to 22, are for the Hawaii Community Colleges, GCC, UOG, Northern Marianas, American Samoa, College of Micronesia in the Federated States, College of the Marshall Islands at Palau. So it's a PDEC consortium. Um, so that will take place on June 19 and 22. Uh, there will be some part of it that is funded by the PDEC. Um, we don't know that yet until the PDEC meets. Um, but there will be a portion of it that is going to be reimbursed to each entity for that um, training. So we just need to know how many board members are interested so that we can prepare the uh, uh, travel. What is the deadline for uh, the interest being submitted? Um, I don't think there's a deadline on here. I think the registration is open now. Yeah, the no. registration is open now. Okay. Um, Yes. If you if you have some interest, uh, just let us know so that we can at least um, register. Trustee Harold, are you interested in attending? Jim Honolulu. Let me see. I'm not really clear as to the. What's this again on the for June? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is for June, and the uh, topics that were uh, provided to ACCT for training. Um, the role of the leadership of the board, succession planning for the board, accreditation. I um, see, I got it. Yeah. Okay, this is June 19th to the yes. 22nd. 22nd, yes. yes. Uh, Anulu, I think I could uh, take that. Very good. I'll make that my birthday present. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so Trustee Hara and Trustee Rita. Um, I have a travel plan, so probably what we can do is just uh, do the side trip. Connect it, okay. So on the way back. Okay, that's fine. There are just changes on my uh, my ticket, which is already packed. Okay, so we can uh, we can just have a uh, work up just for that uh, work on And then we'll reach out to Trustee Leon Guerrero and Trustee um, Sublot. Sublot to see and Mr. Chair you need to let us know. Yeah, just uh, yeah, right now we're fifty fifty on okay. uh, on the more within a month. Okay. And so you just need to approve uh, all trustees that are interested in attending so that the board has authorized uh, for us to prepare their travel office. We need to do that now. Yeah. Okay, can I, can I get a motion? So move to approve to approve the uh, trustees interested in GLI. Attending. Yes. Okay, give it a second. Second. Okay, no objections, motion approves. Let's move forward Before with that, the chair. Uh, we need to reach out to uh, Richard and Carlos. Yep. Yes, yes. Yep. I, we will. Yep. Okay, President's uh, travel request. Okay, so um, this is a, I have a quite busy schedule coming up. So based on our uh, meeting to um, in Washington D.C., there is an opportunity for a convening of community college presidents and. Um, there's some board members that are also being invited by AACC to participate in a summit. And so we received a, during our visit, we received an invite from uh, AACC, but then I got a separate invite. I have not yet confirmed if it's the same invite uh, from NAPIC. NAPIC is the Organization for uh, Asian and Pacific Islanders Council. Um, and so they're covering uh, the cost of that travel, which is actually 17 and 18 in Washington, D.C., the summit. So that's the first one. The second one is the regular BCCJC commission meeting that will take place uh, May 31st uh, through June 3rd in Orange County, and that's to review all the accredit accreditation reports Good. and determine the status of all those uh, coming through for accreditation. That's a regular meeting. Um, of course, the ACCT GLI for the 19th to the 22nd, followed by the PPC meeting on the last day. 
And then to dovetail with that, there is a board meeting in uh, Las Vegas for Westcare. And so all of these okay. are currently funded by external sources. Very good. Uh, could we get a motion to approve the President's travel schedule May uh, through June 2022? So moved. Second. Okay, second. Okay, if we have no objections, the uh, motion passes. Okay, second session.
Okay, so we need a couple motions. Yeah. So, uh, motion to reconvene to a regular meeting. Okay, I got a second. Second here. If we have no objection, motion passes. And uh, motion to pass I, the president's report. Yeah, I move to um, approve the uh, president's report as presented. Thank you. Second. Okay, no objection. Motion approves. And uh, just on behalf of the GCC Board of Trustees, uh, parents, if you understand this is your last meeting, and we want to thank you for your service. And again, hopefully, uh, you've gained some uh, good experience uh, working with this board, you know, governance and you know the fiduciary responsibilities that we have. These things. So it's great. It's great to have you. We appreciated your reports and uh, your participation. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Thank you so much. Okay, any other comments? Uh, if not, can we get a motion to adjourn? Okay. Yeah. So, I need a motion to adjourn. Okay. Second? I second. Okay. If uh, no objection, the board meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Thank you. Okay. So, I need to get.